is Levi. Welcome to another Siler Quick Tip. All right, so I'm just going to show you really quick how to take a KML, bring it into TBC. Um, we're going to export it out as a DXF and then bring that into Access so that we could look at uh, like topo boundaries or any boundaries like that um, that we could use on our map to, or like I said, within Access. So first thing that we're going to do is uh, wherever you have your KML. So obviously I have a, a new blank project open here in TBC. So off of my desktop, I grab this KML that I have, just drag and drop. You can do it from within uh, the file explorer. You can import it, um, however, but just drop it right into there. Um, as you can see, here is the outline. Uh, this is just simple outline of a golf course that I brought in uh, for the KML. You can do this with points or, uh, but preferably lines, just make a basic KML polygon. And then we're just gonna click on export. Uh, then in the file format, we're gonna use CAD and DXF exporter. So we're gonna make sure that we have this selected. Then we're gonna put it, uh, I'm gonna put this back on my desktop. I'm gonna put it in this Indian Creek. I already have one in here uh, as kind of a test. So we're just gonna re rename this. We're just gonna call it IC Outline and save. And then we're gonna export it. So that just exported this line work, this polygon uh, basically. So next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna put that on a jump drive or if you're using Sync Manager, you can do that in Sync Manager um, add it into the job files. And uh, so this is access right here. So have in my project, so I'm going to create a new job and then uh, we're just going to call it test. Um, using my last used or last used job template, just have everything filled out. So like I said, uh, already tested it with this Indian Creek, but we're going to add in this IC outline. So we're going to go into uh, here in our job, we're going to go to linked files and click on that. And then you have point files and map files. So we're going to click on map files and then we're going to click browse. And if you have this on a jump drive, um, you can find it there. If you create a job in Trimble or in sync manager, it'll already be loaded into the job. So you won't have to do this part, but so you'll bring this on. Um, on your D drive, find where it is in here. So like I said, IC outline. And the important thing is click, or, or so that it just has a check mark. You don't want it to have the outline. If you have the outline, that means that it is selectable. You'll be able to stake out to it, um, anything like that. So you wanna make sure that it is just checked. And then you're gonna click accept and accept. And then here it is, here's our map, uh, as you can see, the KML was brought in actually, like I said, we converted it to a DXF. Here's the DXF. Uh, the, now you can see that it's all shaded in. So since this is on your map, all points should show up above it. But if you want it to just simply be the outline, just click on the menu here and settings. And in this display, you can see hatch polygons and just uncheck that and accept. And then you just have the outline of your map. So that should be how you go from a KML to a DXF to bring it in uh, as topo outlines. Thanks for watching. For more videos, you can visit our training and support page at silogeo.com and be sure to look us up and subscribe on all major social media platforms.